Well, looks like I know what killed our lamb. Well, I'd love to say you were a good lamb. He really wasn't. He was a pain in the ass. Douchebag. He was a pain. Yep. I. I loved your daddy, though. Yes, I did. He would have made a good ram. Eighteen, too cold.
So unfortunately, uh, the way these guys' horns are, it was rocking back, so like this, and it fell off the smoker that I currently have it sitting on and it broke the nose bones off, like off, O-F-F -F off. <laughs> Dave, no, Dave. So I'm pretty bummed about that, but another thing I wanted to tell you about um, and I'd put it down, but every time I lay it down, it seriously, it rocks back and it falls off. So, um, but the weird part is I've done, I've done several skulls. Uh, so if you see down there in the nose, it's pink. Uh, I'm guessing because I let this skull go, um, on a barely a simmer overnight. I didn't even get it close to a boil. Um, it didn't dry out the horns. So if anybody knows about horns, uh, there's live tissue up inside these horns and it seems to be draining down into the skull. Uh, you can see a little pink spot right there. Um, it's draining down here and into the eye cavity. So there's definitely, uh, some live tissue, um, up in the skull that's, uh, draining back down. So I've learned a little bit. Um, for one, if you have a heavy horned skull, don't leave it on top of your smoker cause it will roll back and fall off and break its nose apart. Uh, and two, I don't know. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research to see how to get, uh, the inside of the horns dried out. I mean, I don't know if I dry it out, dry the skull out enough and just take the horns off and then glue them back on later. But it, there's definitely some seepage coming out of the horn and see, it's literally dripping as we're talking. So there's, there's some live, well, <laughs> it's not live anymore, obviously, but there's some, there's some tissue up in these horns that are just leaking out and, uh, I got to do some homework on how to fix that. But since this is just going to be my skull for a wall hanger, it's not that big of a deal, but I mean, it's, yeah, it just started dripping when we were talking about it. So anyway, practice makes perfect. Perfect. It's not for you either. Now we wait.
so it is flat cold um, it was two degrees but the wind is blowing like crazy so um, check this out I kept everything in here overnight uh, because well I didn't really have another place to put it but here is our summer saw or excuse me our bratwurst I put them in the smoker for oh maybe 20 minutes half an hour just to get a really light smoke on them they're not cooked in any way but there's just a little bit of a light smoke and we ended up getting uh, six of these long tubes of summer sausage and then one big guy because I didn't have any more of the small, hi Dave, this is not for you, uh, casings. And then these are the hot ones down here. No, be a little warm, not so hot that I can't eat them. But um, again, those went in the smoker for just a little, whoop, uh, just a little bit, just to get a little smoke. So I cannot wait to eat them. around I've got for today um, this is the first time I've really really used I mean I've used uh, the high country oops, high country mix before and they've been great but this is the first time I've actually done everything start to finish myself and my scale stopped working so I kind of had to eyeball it a little bit but this summer sausage is right up there with the best I've had. <laughs> um, the lamb that we processed just now was Icelandic. He was 100% Icelandic. And then we cut it with some pork meat. Um, but it's, I mean, if you guys can see, like there's, there's seasonings and that's mustard seed throughout the sausage. Um, I follow the directions to a T. Um, the skull that I just did, I don't know what's happening with that thing. Um, it's been leaking. I have it right here. Hold on. It has been leaking fluids for a week. I've never had a head do this before, but if you can see, it's it's still leaking some of the the fluid and up into the nose cavity. Um, it's just it's just purging fluid. Uh, and it's coming from the horns, and I'm gonna have to do some research on how to manage that, but the skull turned out super clean, super white, it's beautiful. Um, but yeah, the summer sausage is great. Hey, I wanna say thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I don't take butchering these lambs um, lightly, but it's a necessity, or it's necess necessary? <laughs> <laughs> it's necessary for this way of life, which I absolutely adore. So I want to say, hey, support your local farmer the best that you can. And uh, these broths are going to turn out great, um, as you saw. So we had some Carolina Reapers that we grew this year. So I added a couple of those. Um, and the Anaheim, it you can't really, I was writing on the bag with the peppers in it. You can't really see it. So uh, we also grew Anaheim peppers this year and incorporated that into the second batch of broths that we did. And I think it's going to be great guys. I'm a little excited for those. Uh, I love to camp, but this summer sausage, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Now what I really wish I wanted was some cheese and a glass of wine. I don't have either, but it, it, it would be great with this. <laughs> Hey, I want to say I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Support your local farmer, as I say in every video. Um, 
And that's it for this time, guys. It was a heavily edited video because I did a whole lot in a short amount of time, but that was just kind of what we do uh, when we harvest a lamb. If I don't send it off to the butcher, that's what I do. So um, some of those chops and the, the roast is gonna be amazing. I am no butcher, but I know what I like and how I like to have it be cut. So the next investment is definitely going to be a bandsaw because this thing works great, but oh boy, I, I've processed probably four lambs on my own and I need a bandsaw like bad. <laughs> so, hey, I also have an Amazon wish list. So I will put that in the link below. If you guys are feeling froggy and you want to donate to the farm, uh, farming is really hard right now. Uh, the last 12 months has been really tough. Um, everything has kind of been affordable except for the hay and everything is going even higher for the next year. There's no way I'm going to raise my prices to cover our cost um, because I just sold a, a whole lamb that weighed out to be about 600 bucks plus cut and wrap and I thought it was unfair. I thought it was way too much so I'm actually taking a loss for that because I just I don't think it's fair to forward that to the consumer. I don't I just I have a hard time with that. So anyway support your local farmer if you'd like to to um, donate there is actually my mailing address down below too and I'm gonna go finish off the rest of this summer sausage because whoa <laughs> wow I'm I'm very impressed I've never done this myself before because I thought it was intimidating but I'll tell you what not a sponsor but high country is who we actually did the bratwurst with too which is this kit and um, their customer service let me tell you is absolutely fantastic so uh, not a sponsor but hey if you guys want to be a sponsor I'm here for you Love you guys. Have a great day. And I will see you soon. Ha, psych. I won't see you soon. You're going to see me very soon. I hope if we have enough content for another video. So again, love you guys and um, enjoy, like, subscribe, and um, have a fantastic new year, everybody. Uh, I know the last couple years have been a train wreck. Uh, last year we bought a, a toilet ornament for our tree because we couldn't find a dumpster. They were all sold out. Dumpster fire ornaments were sold out. Um, this year we ended up buying uh, a dozen eggs, a little ornament of a dozen eggs because we couldn't figure out what we wanted. Um, I, it was just that. So enjoy, stay safe, love everybody. And please follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and I'll uh, hopefully post something soon. I don't know what it's gonna be, but anyway, enjoy.